Hi there everybody and welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about configuration packages. So what is a configuration package? Well, a configuration package is a function within Business Central that we can use to import and export data into BC. Um, so there are other ways of importing and exporting data into and out of Business Central, but we'll run through a few different variations um, in the coming videos. But for today, we'll cover configuration packages. Um, so what I'm just going to do is use the search function here to search for configuration packages. Um, so we're presented with the configuration packages um, page here. And um, first thing to mention is this is the out of the box configuration package. So in my Cronus environment, I just get um, this configuration package, which has a bit of data in there. So if I just quickly run through some of the fields that we have here, um, we've got the code field, which is basically just a, a unique code for each of the configuration packages. We have a package name, which again, we can choose. So we'll just create a new one in a second, um, but I'm just running through these fields for you for now for reference. Um, so we also have a language ID, um, so you can have um, English, um, United States, United Kingdom, or any other language that might be relevant. Um, we've got the product version. Um, we have the processing order. So you may have multiple configuration packages, each of which you want to process in a different order. So we can define that here. Uh, we've got an exclude configuration tables Boolean. We've got a number of tables and records and errors currently in that configuration package. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is let me just create a new configuration package. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just give this configuration package a code of PT and we'll give it a name of payment terms. Um, so as you saw the fields that we just run through, I can input the product version in here. It's optional, but I can do that if I want to. I can also set a language ID here, which you don't have to do, but I will. Uh, we can also set a processing order and I can mark exclude configuration tables if I don't want to include the configuration tables within this configuration package. Um, so once we've filled in the header area of our configuration package, we can start adding in tables that we want to import and export data from within this area in the table section here. So if I drill down into the table ID here, I can see a full list of all of the tables within Business Central. And very simply, I can just click the table ID there and I can insert my table. So I just selected the payment terms table there and that has pulled through to my table section. And do bear in mind, we can add multiple tables in here. So if I put in table number 18, pulls in the customer table. So what's interesting here is we have a prompt box that says some fields have two or more related tables. Do you wanna check them? So I can say no here, or if I say yes, what it will do is it will bring up a list of tables that are related um, to other tables within the customer table because I just added that one. And you can see here, I've got the city and postcode tables here. So I can add those in. Um, so 225, I can add those in if I want to into my configuration package. So just sticking with payment terms for now, if I move along um, this um, particular um, line, you can see here we have a few different tick boxes. We've got dimensions as columns here, which if we want to import and export dimensions into the payment terms table, not sure that's entirely relevant, but it might be for customers or some of our other tables. Uh, but if we want the dimensions as columns, when we import or export, we can mark this as Yes. Uh, we also have the skip table triggers, which if there are any table triggers on that particular table, we can choose to skip those if we want to by ticking this here. Um, so we have 
the delete table records before processing very scary tick box um, so if we want to we can place a check in this box but as the name suggests it will delete all records in that table before we import and process records into that table using this configuration package so use with caution um, so we then have a number of fields here. So number of package records is zero right now. That's because I'm not trying to import anything. I have a number of fields available included and to validate here. So what I'm going to do is just click on the number of fields available. And what this will do is it will bring up another page called the configuration package fields. And over here, um, I have a list of all of the fields within the payment terms code table. And here I can choose to include or validate each of these fields. So if I go edit list here, I can choose to include or validate a particular field here from my configuration package. If I don't want to include one of these fields, I can very simply just uncheck this box and that will mean that the field is no longer handled using our configuration package. So you can see here I've unticked everything apart from the first one which I'm not sure if that's coming through in the screen share there but I cannot untick this one and that's because this is the primary key for this particular table so I, I need to have that value if I'm importing or exporting from this table. So I then also have a processing order um, which is one through to eight for each of the fields on this table. I can move up or move down on these fields. So it doesn't really apply to this table here, but where we have tables which have dependencies on other tables, for example, the customer table and the customer posting group or something like that, for example, um, you may want to import one field before you import another at table level. Um, and that's up to us if we want to uh, if we want to do that. Um, another useful field here is the create missing codes, which again use with caution because it can end up in you importing a lot of data which may not be uh, appropriate for this particular table. But you can tick the create missing codes if you want to create data which doesn't exist within your. Um, database right now. This is normally for where there's a linked field. So again, going back to my um, example with the customer and the customer posting groups, uh, if we have a value in the customer posting group field, when we're importing into the customer table, that does not exist in our business central company, we can click create missing codes for the customer posting group field, and that will then create that missing code. So again, use with caution. So we've now modified the configuration package field slightly. If I go back and just hit F5 on my keyboard, we can see here the numbers have changed on this first line. So we have number of fields available is eight, but the number of fields included and to validate is now just one. And that's because I unchecked all of these fields here. So I'm just going to say set included as a quick shortcut. I can use clear included to clear those, but I'll just say set included to include all the fields again. Just go back and hit F8, F5 on my keyboard, sorry. And you can see here the number of fields included and to validate are now eight again. So we have some other fields here. We've got number of package errors, which is zero right now. So we will see the number of package records and the number of package errors in action very soon. Um, but I'll just skip over them for now. We have number of database records, which is 11. And that I can drill down into just to review the current payment terms that I have in my business central environment right now. I can scroll across here and I can check to see if my table is filtered. So this is for when we are exporting data via Excel. So if I go Excel and export to Excel, I can add a filter. So if I go table and filters here, I can select one of the fields on my configuration package and I can say only export those records where 
the due date calculation, for example, is 10D. So if I hit close, now you can see the filtered checkbox is populated, and that's because we added a filter where the due date calculation is equal to 10D. Bear in mind, this only works on the export action, not on the import. So it will only export entries now where the due date calculation is 10D. Um, so I then have some other fields which I can use for reference. So I've got comments created by user, imported by user, date and time, so on as well. Um, so now that we've run through some of those different fields, what we can do is let's just go ahead and export our payment terms to Excel. So whilst I'm highlighting the payment terms, I'm going to go Excel in the tables part of my page and I'm going to say export to Excel. Bear in mind, I can select multiple tables at one point in time and that will allow me to export two tables at once. Um, or if I want to export my whole package at once, I can just click export to Excel up here and that will export however many tables we have in our configuration package to Excel. So let me go payment terms here and I'll go export to Excel. It tells me that one table has been selected. Do you want to continue? I'll say yes. And I will now have my Excel spreadsheet. And on this Excel spreadsheet, you can see here that I have the eight fields that we said we wanted to include within this configuration package. And also you'll notice, although I had 11 database records, I only have one in this Excel export. And that's because we added a table filter where the due date calculation is 10D. So what I can do here is I can add an additional um, payment terms code. So I'm just going to say test. I'm not going to add any of the detail here, but you guys get the idea. I can add additional details here if I want to. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this um, Excel spreadsheet and then I'm going to import that back into Business Central. So once uh, we've imported the um, payment terms spreadsheet back in, we get uh, a window which looks like this. So it's the configuration package import preview. And over here, I've got a list of the tables that BC is saying that I want to import into the packages that I want to import. So we're importing into package code PT for payment terms and we're importing in table ID number three, which is the payment terms table. So I'm going to say import here and first thing that I mention here now guys is you'll see that the number of package records is two and I can click on this two here and I have the two records that were in my Excel spreadsheet. Um, so it doesn't really matter about the 10 days because that one was there already. Um, I could have cleared that out of the Excel spreadsheet before I imported it back in. doesn't really matter but I can still delete or I can modify the record here before applying that information into Business Central if I want to. So it's really important here guys, uh, I must mention that this data currently sitting here on screen is not within Business Central itself just yet. It's sitting in a staging table which has yet to be applied. So you can see the number of database records has not changed, it's still 11. Now, what do we do to apply that data? Well, if we go functions and we go apply data, we can do some other stuff beforehand. We can go ahead and validate relations and we can do other such stuff, um, processing rules and so on before we go ahead and apply, apply data. But I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the data this time. It tells me that one table has been selected. Again, I can select multiple tables there if I want to. But I'm just going to say yes on this and here we get a message which tells us what has happened. 
So it tells us one table um, is processed, zero errors have been found, one record was inserted and one record was modified. Um, so that's really important there guys, the inserted record was the new one that I added, the code test, and the modified record was the one that was already there, was the 10 days. So if I go OK now, we can see the number of database records is now 12 and the number of package records is zero. So we no longer can see the information in here because it's been applied to our Business Central company. But if I go into my number of database records, 12, we can see that my code test has now been added. So that was a very simple introduction to configuration packages. Obviously, there's lots more to, to run through on here. We have things like errors that might occur during the import process. So full validation occurs when we import data in using configuration packages. Um, but that'll be one for a video in the future. I hope you found this one useful and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.